two are now international stars. Having recently wrestled in Japan and Mexico, BCW is truly becoming a phenomenon around the mundo. I picked up a little Spanish down in Mexico. After the pay-per-view, be sure to check out our new website where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag including my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox, which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. Tonight's Scrap Trap match, all fans in the first three rows were given free tennis shots. because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other wrestling promotions and because it rhymes. <laughs> the fact that we're broadcasting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. What? Did the site crash or something? What happened? No. We were taken down intentionally. By Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean... We hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by selling him used jet skis. 
Invading NXT! Invading NXT! Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about! Hey Cole, you got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. Oh, thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. I was thinking after you get in there, you should cut a promo rather than get into a fight with anyone. Less risk of injury that way, right? If we want to make a real impact tonight, we can't just sit there in our seats or cut a promo. We need to get physical with someone. I thought you should just cut a promo tonight to promote BCW, but it sounds like you and Cole have other plans. Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... Uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but something's going on in the crowd. Wait, wait, I recognize those two. Isn't that... They don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. Now, what are they doing? Why? What is happening around here?
That's right, you got one. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> He's so pissed. Get them out of here right now. It looks now. like these two trespassers Bye. are finally leaving. At least we can get on with the show now. That was awesome! Triple H must be losing it right now. I know. And even better, we're trending. Yeah. Yes. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get there, how are we going to strike next? What do you mean strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh, no. You, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We got to keep this thing going. Yeah, I want to be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's going to be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. Our BCW shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. So, why don't we forget this invasion stuff and just get back to running non-WWE venues? I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before, and I've seen what happens when someone gets on his bad side. It's not going... <laughs> or maybe you'll be the fool that proves the rule. That's because I just made it up. Do you like it? Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? You know what would be hilarious? If we were DX and one of us was Triple H, that would really set him off. <laughs> oh, man. Not giving it up!